Alright, so this is showing how to make a um, dynamic block. <coughs> In this uh, scenario, we have this piece which is supposed to be the um, a second, a part of a metal deck on the roof. As you can see, you could just uh, duplicate this and I'll show it in section as a corrugated metal roof. I know that's one way to do it, but another way would be to make some sort of um, dynamic block that you would be able to adjust and scale, you know, to show what you needed to show, but not have a messy drawing where you have a bunch of different blocks. And yes, you could make a bunch of copies and then duplicate it and have one long block. Like I could have just, if I was a normal wall space, I could have just duplicated this a bunch of times, selected it all, make it into a block you know but this is just another way to doing something alright so the first thing is we're gonna start by you know this is the block authorization panel we're gonna start by setting up base points which what is zero zero I'm just gonna set it there okay that's that's good to go and then the next one so that's the first thing you don't have to do anything besides that um, and then you can do a we have actions, we have parameter sets, you know, these are all kind of um, pre-built um, sets that you don't have to necessarily use. We're going to go with a a, um, a linear Parameter. As you can see at the bottom, it says BP or B parameter specify a point to start. So we'll click here to here. We'll set it down. And then we got to select the. So this is a linear um, distance. It just tells it, you know, a direction to go. Next, we're going to use a array action. I'm going to select the parameter. We're going to select the objects and then we're going to specify this distance for the array amount. You, know, you might not think anything happened, but then you can. On the top left, you have this test block button. If you press that, it'll show you what you pretty much did. And so here is my thing and then if I keep stretching this out you can see that I have this one block that is now adjustable in my drawing and I can have an infinitely long um, metal deck and so once I'm done testing it, it looks like it's working well I can just close it I can close the test block window and now that's it this thing's ready to go so all I gotta do is close it It'll ask me to save. You want to save changes? Yes. And there it is. So now this is I'm back in model space. And this is what I had before, which is a simple poly polyline. And what I was trying to say before is I could have I could have just copied and pasted this along this along this origin here. You know, I could have I could have used the array command. You know, also I didn't have to use this copy um, option. But now I don't need that. I can just use my newly created block, which I not might even scale both ways, but it wasn't on purpose. No, that just moves the origin point. Or actually, yeah, it's moving the origin, but it's keeping this point where it is. So I kind of messed it up. But for the sake, let's keep the origin there and let's ignore this one arrow on the left and now I can just you know move this where I need it to be I need it to be right there and that's it I'm good to go and now I can just stretch this out and let's say the wall needed to stop there I can use the simple you know okay you have to exploit it but now I can use the X click command so XC which is right clip and I'll just select a box a new one New rectangular, and I'll just select this box. So as you can see, it clip the left side, and obviously I can turn the X clip frame off. So 
set it to zero, and now the clicking box is gone. And I can erase this line because this is just a reference line, and there, done. So that's how you make a dynamic block for something as simple that just repeats on the left, left, right basis.